Hello, happy final day of Panelathon. So, real quick, I realized in the previous vlog, I forgot to mention, I have kept reading Space Boy, so that is something that I've been reading as well. I'm about 100 chapters into Space Boy right now, and I'm, I'm having a moment. We've discovered some things about my characters that I don't know how I feel about. It's not necessarily, like, bad, but it's not great either. So, I'm, I'm just having a moment with them. And... Again, I will continue to read that one beyond this readathon. If you guys want to start seeing me talk more about the webcomics that I'm reading in my wrap ups, let me know in the comments down below. I just realized I've been reading webcomics for a while, and there's certain ones that I love and I stay current on, and I wasn't sure if you guys ever wanted me to be like talking about those or anything like that. So I can potentially add some webcomic discussions into maybe my monthly otaku favorites or something and go from there. So just thought I would throw that in there as something that you guys might want to see. So if you do, let me know. And yes, so I'm going to get this vlog up and then I'm going to go to bed early because if you saw the previous vlog, you know I had a really craptacular day. So I'm, I'm ready for Monday. I do have some errands I need to go run tomorrow, but outside of that, I think I can just read and get this vlog done. So that's kind of my plan for tomorrow, technically, because it's still Sunday right now. But that's the plan for the day, and I want to at least get Lumberjanes Volume 2 read, and then whatever other manga or graphic things I read tomorrow, they're just gravy. So... This whole readathon has really been gravy. I've killed it, and I do plan at the end of this video to have a wrap up of everything that I've read over the last eight days, and it's a lot. So I will leave the timestamp for that down below if you just want to skip to that because you don't really care about my personal life. I'm I'm not gonna make you care. So <laughs> if you want to just kind of skip all the personal stuff and just get to what I read over the last eight days, that will be left for you down below. So. I will check in with you guys in the morning because I'm not going to check in again tonight. Good morning. It is officially morning of the last day. The final day of panelathon and yeah so it's about 8 15 ish in the morning I've been up for almost two hours <laughs> I've been up for a while so I did get a read in I have read volume two of Lumberjanes and being honest I didn't love volume two as much as I loved volume one so I don't think I'm going to continue to collect this one for the time being there's so many graphics that I'm in the middle of collecting that I'm loving and adoring that the ones that I'm just kind of feeling lukewarm about, I'm putting aside and not going to continue to collect until I feel like revisiting the story. So that's how I'm feeling about Lumberjanes. Volume 1 was super cute. I felt like this one was a little weird, if I'm honest. Um, I've heard it continues to get better and better as the series goes on, but Volume 2 is kind of a fail for me. So I think I'm going to wait to collect that one. Because I've got, an, like I said, proactively I've got enough other things that I'm collecting that I don't want to spend time worrying about collecting something that I'm not loving as much. So, that's that for now. I still have my small stack of manga. I do plan on reading some of that today. Um, I'm going to put a poll up on my Instagram. You guys will have already seen it, obviously, of whether I want to work on my volumes of Again or finish off the volumes that I own of Mate Sama. Because I feel like if I accomplish one of those two, that would be great. I do have some errands to run today. I do still need to take a shower and all those good things. So that's kind of where we're at this morning. And yeah, like I said, at the end of this vlog, there will be an epic wrap up of everything that I've read and it's a giant stack. So I'm sorry in advance. And yeah, so I will chat with you in a bit.
Hi, hello. So it's now about 11 o'clock in the morning and I've read some more since I last talked to you. You can tell I didn't quite get all my mascara off last night. Oh goodness. Anyways, I've since showered and started getting ready for the day. <laughs> I'm dressed. I'm probably not going to worry about makeup today because my skin's still getting back to a happy place. But I read the first volume in this Made Sama Omnibus. I didn't ever put up a poll, but I just decided that I wanted to read Made Sama after all. So I, where this particular volume ended off, um, I have mixed feelings about. And I can understand much more fully now why people don't like the second half of Made Sama as much as the first half. And at this moment, I agree with them. I'm not enjoying it quite as much, but I'm still enjoying it. I still want to finish out the series, so I want to know how the author ended things, not just how the anime ended things. And, yeah, so I'm going to go run my errands. One of those errands is buying Steve's birthday present because his birthday's in June. So I want to get his birthday present while it's on sale, and I'm probably going to give it to him today because it's big and all those kinds of things and it could be used today so shh don't tell so anyway so I'm gonna go take care of that and run a couple other errands and then I'm gonna come back and I want to at least finish this omnibus today I would love to finish the other omnibus as well but I do plan on stopping reading at about four today so I can edit and just kind of have the evening with my husband so that's the plan I got five hours to read three volumes of manga and do some shopping, so I better get at it. Okay, so I'm back. I bought my husband's birthday present. I gave it to him early because it's too big to hide because it's a barbecue grill. <laughs> and it was kind of a group present with my family and stuff. It's something we've been talking about getting for a long time, but he always kept finding reasons to not buy it, and so... I figured if we just gave him one big birthday present, that would work better for him. Because he doesn't like receiving presents. That is not his love language. Anyway, so, now that that's all done and he's setting that up, I'm going to take the next little while and try to finish off this omnibus of Maid Sama. And then I think I'm just going to call panel a -thon Because I'm burning out <laughs> on reading. I want to finish this, but I think I'm going to need, like, a couple days off. So at this point, I will probably just call... This vlog, my May wrap up, <laughs> because there's a lot to talk about at the end of this video. So, after I finish this omnibus of Main Sama, we will chat. Okay, friends, this is the end of my panelathon vlogs. I hope you guys have enjoyed the little over a week's worth of vlogs, and it is now time to wrap up everything that I read. It's an insane amount of stuff. I kind of don't even know how I fit it all in other than having four of the eight days off from work and somehow getting bit by the radioactive reading bug. So I'm gonna start with the, actually I'm gonna start with the, <laughs> with the webcomic that I read, which was Space Boy. I've read over a hundred chapters of Space Boy now. I am madly in love with the story. I'm thoroughly invested in the journey and I'm here for it, so. Definitely check out Space Boy. I will leave a link down below to my recommendations video because the app that you can find it on is in that. So, I read the first two volumes of Lumberjanes. I really liked volume one, didn't love volume two as much, so I think I'm not going to continue collecting this for now, but it's really fun about girls at summer camp, and there's a little bit of a fantastical element to it. I also read the first two volumes of The Backstagers. This is about a backstage crew um, for theater at a school. It's an all-boys school. There's some LGBT elements to this. Absolutely cute, super adorable, thoroughly invested. We'll be picking up more. I read Goldie Vance Volume 2. Again, another one that I am loving and adoring at the moment. We'll be picking up more Goldie Vance. This is about Goldie here, and she wants to solve all the mysteries, and so she works with the detective on hand at her dad's hotel and it's just fun. The volumes are very episodic and really fun. Highly recommend. 
Next we have Copperhead Volume 1, which is a really interesting story, but I don't know that I loved the art very as much as I hoped to. So I will not be continuing to collect this one for now. I might try collecting it digitally, but I don't know if I physically would want to keep it on my shelf just because I didn't love the art as much as I've loved the art in some of these other ones that I've read. Next we have Isola Volume 1, and I loved this. Thoroughly invested, will be continuing to pick this up as it comes out, and the art's just stunning. And this is a fantastical journey about a queen who had their life threatened, the captain of the guard saved them, and they're on the run, essentially, so it's really interesting. Thoroughly enjoy. Next we have Alex and Ada, Volume 1, which is about the whole RAI's sentient kind of thing, and it's fantastic. Highly recommend. We'll be picking up Volume 2 soon. Next we have Giant Days, Volume 1, which is about college roommates and their adventures in college. Very slice of life, very fun, highly recommend. Again, there's some LGBT elements in that one. And then the last graphic novel volume I read was Blackbird Volume 1. This was Jesse's host pick. Absolutely fantastic. This is all about wanting to come in to power you were born with. And it's based in L.A. It's really interesting. The art is stunning. Highly recommend. And I did also have two issues of comics from Free Comic Book Day, which was a chapter of Kino's Journey. I've heard that this can get pretty dark and twisted. Um, this is a pretty mellow chapter compared to most of it, so beware of that. So I might still just try picking this one up digitally and see how I feel and go from there. And then I also have Animosity in this issue, and I really enjoyed this. So this is one I might pick up digitally or try to get from my library, but Animosity Tales is definitely one that I want to read more of and see how I feel because... I didn't mind the art style, and the story was kind of hilarious, so that's how I feel about that. So, let's dig into the mountain of manga that I've read this week. Holy crap, it's a lot. Alright, so I read volumes 8, because I had already read volume 7 before Panelathon started. So volume 8 through 12 of Maid Sama. This is about Aizawa, who works at a maid cafe after school, but she's also the school president, so she feels like she doesn't want people to know where she works. She feels like she won't be respected. And it's about Usui, who finds out her secret and has feelings for her. It's shenanigans. It's shoujo classic fun. Highly recommend the series. A lot of people drop off after volume 8 because that's where the anime ends, and then it goes into a different style of story. But I'm still really enjoying it, so take that for what you will. Next we have After the Rain, Volumes 2 and 3. This is an age gap seinen manga where our girl is 17 and she has, a, she has feelings for her boss who happens to be 45, divorced, and has a child. So everything's very innocent at this point, so it's not feeling icky by any means, and I've really been enjoying the depth that this story has. Speaking of age gap romance, I read Volumes 5 through 8 of Dengeki Daisy, Dengeki Daisy is an age gap romance with a 24-year-old man and a 16-year-old girl whose brother passed away and he feels like he's partially responsible. And yes, it's this whole big thing where her brother gave her a cell phone and told her that if she was ever sad or needed anything to ask Daisy and Daisy would respond. And Kurosaki, our guy here, has a secret. I think you can put it together from there. But anyways, really cute. Absolutely adore fully invested, ordering more, yes. Give me all the Dengeki Daisy. All right, another one where I read multiple volumes is Assassination Classroom. I read volumes 9 through 12. I can understand why people kind of got more bored through the middle of the series, but I'm still enjoying it for the time being, and I'm just kind of invested in it, so I'm going to keep reading it. Next we have The Case Study for Vanitas, volume 2. This is a steampunk vampire story. Absolutely fun. Thoroughly enjoying it. Highly recommend. Next we have Twinkle Stars Omnibus 1. This has two volumes in it. This is by the same creator who does Fruits Basket. It feels a lot like Fruits Basket. We have a girl who loves to look at the stars. Randomly on her birthday, this random boy shows up at her house. She thinks it's a friend of her caretaker. He thinks it's her boyfriend, but nobody knows who this person is. So it's really interesting. I thoroughly enjoy it. 
lots of mystery, lots of fun, and it feels like Fruits Basket. So if you miss Fruits Basket, read that one. Next we have Blank Canvas by Akiko Higashimura. This is an autobiographical manga. Absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend everybody checks it out. If you want to understand the journey that someone would have in becoming a manga creator, and it's, it's beautiful. I love it. This is definitely a slice of life. It has a bit of a plot, but the plot is more mellow and background. You're mostly getting to know Akiko and her sensei, and it's fantastic. Highly recommend. Next we have Silver Spoon Volume 4, which I really love this series. It's the same mangaka that does Full Metal Alchemist, but this is about a boy who goes to an agricultural high school even though he doesn't have agricultural aspirations, and about what he learns there. It's fantastic. Well done. Highly recommend. Next we have Golden Kamui Volume 1, which was an epic fail for me. I have a friend that I'm actually going to be trading some manga with, so I will be sending this on to her, and I hope that they thoroughly enjoy it. Next we have Stupid Love Comedy, which is a complete manga in this omnibus about an editor who usually works with seinen and shonen series being transferred to the shoujo department and the artist that he is working with. It's really fun, full of shenanigans. I really enjoyed it because it got you get to see a better look at the process of what it takes to make a manga, and I found that to be very interesting. Next we have Dr. Stone, Volume 2, which is a shonen series that I'm not sure I'm going to continue to collect physically. I might switch over to digital at this point, but this is one that a lot of people are really loving and they feel like it's different. To me, it doesn't feel that different and the science is a bit far-fetched. My husband and I, my husband really doesn't enjoy it. I like it well enough, so I think I'm going to try this through the Shonen Jump app to see if I want to continue or not. Next we have Love in Focus Volume 2, which is an adorable Shonen, or not Shonen, Shoujo series about a girl who's obsessed with photography. She accidentally takes a picture of someone who doesn't want their picture taken and then finds out that she's in the same boarding house as this particular person. Shenanigans ensue. It'll conclude in the next volume. And that's that. It's fun. It's cute. The boys are really pretty, so definitely check it out. Next we have Overlord Volume 10, which is an isekai story about a man who ends up trapped in a video game style world and he is the villainous overlord and it's about him and his servants and taking over the world that they're in and all sorts of fun things like that. I really like this. The anime is ahead of the manga that's phys physically publishing in the US so you're welcome to jump ahead in the story and just watch the anime if you want. Next we have Behind the Scenes Volume 2 which is Bisco Hatri's currently running series. It's almost finished. It finishes at volume like seven or eight, and I think up to volume six has currently published. But volume two was fantastic. I will be continuing to collect this one physically. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Highly recommend. I should mention, this is kind of like the backstages where it's kind of like a backstage crew. This works with like the film department and the theater department. Really fun. Highly recommend. Then we have As Miss Beelzebub Likes, which I think I'm going to switch over to a digital collect for this one. This is just kind of a fun four-panel um, manga that deals with Beelzebub, who likes all things cutesy, and it's about how the underworld is kind of run under Beelzebub's rule. It's fun. I like it. It's a little more fan service than I was hoping it was going to be in the second volume, because sometimes the first volume gets that way, but volume two just proved it was going to stay that way. So I think I'm just going to start collecting this one digitally because I don't know if I physically want it on my shelves. And then last but not least was Requiem of a Rose King, of the Rose King, sorry, which was a deep, dark, twisty, paranormal style fantasy. I've heard down the line it becomes more vampire-like, so I'm definitely invested in continuing on with this one. I'm looking forward to picking up more. I really liked what we got to see of the characters in this first volume, and I'm invested. I'm just here for it. So friends, let me count how many graphics that is. That's like 38 in 8 days. It's a lot, guys. <laughs> it's insane if I really think about it. And it's really only like 2 o'clock in the afternoon or something. Yeah, it's 2. And I'm calling the vlog here. I'm calling Panelathon done because I'm going to spend the rest of my Memorial Day with my husband. So happy holiday to you guys this might go up tuesday morning or it might go up monday night i'm not 100 percent sure but whenever it goes up thanks to everyone who participated in panelathon i am grateful to the co-hosts natalie and jesse and it's been a really fun eight days for me i'm sure 
I hope at least that we'll be doing this again maybe next year or later on in the year, but I am definitely looking forward to doing this again. So let me know in the comments down below if you read any graphics during the week, whether you participated in Panelathon or not, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.